All 11 sectors of the S&P 500 were up earlier this morning, but we're getting a little weakness now in the overall markets. As I speak to you right now, we got the S&P still up eight tenths of 1%. The Dow is up about three quarters of a percent. The NASDAQ up a half a percent and the Russell's actually down around a quarter of a percent. Yields are actually slightly lower than the spike we saw after the FOMC meeting. But the big part about yields is the curve is flattening dramatically. January 25th, the twos thirties curve was 110 basis points. It's 94 right now. Twos tens, 76 versus 65. Fives thirties, it was 56. On January 25th, it's 45 right now. 10 years about 181, two year though, up at 116. Interesting moves in the two year. It was the highest single day move in the two year, except for one day during the start of the pandemic since the financial crisis, 2008, 2009. Durable goods were worse than expected. GDP was stronger than expected, but the price components, the quarter over quarter price component, price component was stronger than expected. Pending home sales also missed with large drops both month over month and year over year. The dollar is up and crude made a new annual high, but it's falling right now. Crude is negative right now, but WTI reached the highest level at over 88.50 since 2014. So that component of inflation at least continues to drive higher. Now looking ahead, we've got the seven year auction earlier today, later today I should say, and then earnings after the close. The big one is Apple, but we also get Visa, Mondelez. Tomorrow we get Chevron, Caterpillar, Charter Communications, Colgate Palmolive, and Phillips 66. Then data tomorrow morning, German Q4 flash GDP, EU final consumer confidence, economic sentiment, and industrial sentiment data. And then in the US, we get the year over year and month over month PCE price data. Those are gonna be very critical going into next week.